When Apple started selling its iPhone 5S with a Touch ID fingerprint reading sensor, all of us entered the biometric age a bit. Apple acquired the technology when it purchased Authentic in 2012. Samsung followed quickly with its own version of the tech in the Galaxy S5 and soon to be released. 6. With telecoms company Qualcomm promising to release a 3D fingerprint reader shortly, having one in your pocket could become increasingly standard in the next two years. And RBS and NatWest have recently announced that customers will be able to log on with Touch ID to Oh, their banking. German hacker Starbug, whose real name is Jan Chrysler, is not impressed. He hacked Apple's Touch ID roughly a day after its launch, replicating the last fingerprint that had touched the glass iPhone surface with kit that included a scanner, a printer, and a bit of glue. And he followed this up in December by reproducing the fingerprint of German Defense Minister Ursula von der Leyen using photographs from a press conference at a distance of about 10 feet. Starbuck believes that proper protection requires two-factor authentication, based on two completely independent components from one of three methods, knowledge, password, possession, smart card, and biometrics. So something you know, something you have, and something you are. The problem with that kind used here, he says, is that you probably will find all the secret information of one method on the device used for the second method.